G'day folks and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a test of another foam cannon. This is the Foam Cannon S version 3 from MJJC. Now I'm a little bit late to the party with this one because I've had a few uh, scheduling conflicts and uh, the weather outside hasn't exactly been uh, the most friendly. It's either been very windy or very hot or raining. So today is probably the best day to do it. So we're just going to get it done. So right now we're going to do a, a quick old fashioned unboxing of the uh, Foam Cannon S version 3 and uh, see exactly what's inside. So right out of the box, the first thing you get is the instructions. Nothing too special there if you've operated the foam cannon before. So then you get the foam cannon head, which is largely the same as the foam cannon pro. So the same construction, pretty much everything about it. And so then you get the uniquely shaped clear plastic bottle which is taller than the Foam Cannon Pro. It has uh, markings which are kind of etched onto the outside and uh, a lot clearer to read as well. So next you have the blue silicon suction hose and the gravity ball which is attached to it and the filter which is attached between the gravity ball and the suction hose. So then we get the Karcher fitting. The only thing that they really don't supply here is the PTFE tape. Now, according to their website, they don't really have a need for PTFE or uh, any kind of spray on substances like you would normally have. But uh, you ask any plumber or any gas fitter, you've got a metal on metal connection. Now, either that or plastic, plastic, metal, metal, it doesn't matter. Over time, you're gonna get wear. And uh, if you take these apart and then put them back together again, you're eventually going to need PTFE tape or some kind of other medium to put in between those two connections. Now MJJC will send a 1.1 millimeter orifice, but with the Karcher K3, it's not really necessary because it won't really work with it. It's just a little bit too small. And so now we'll put all the parts together and uh, go take it for a test run. Okay, so we've got our MJJC foam cannon already uh, loaded up As you can see, the foam actually builds up quite thick. It depends on the uh, setting here. It's really fine adjustment, so you've got to be really careful with it. That's pretty thick. So like I said earlier, this is one of these days where it's been not quite hot, not quite too windy. I mean, there's still wind about, but it's gonna be less affected. Okay, so that is pretty much most of the car done. Some of it uh, kind of wants to run off, but I attribute that to something to do with the, the paint on the car. So I've done all I can to try and mitigate that problem. Uh, we've got, I oh, don't know, not too much left in there. What have we got? 200 mil, roughly. And uh, yeah, on a bigger car, I'd say one full bottle would probably do you. The ball actually finding the lowest spot in the bottle. And this is kind of how it does it. It just follows it around, just gravity weighted. It's just gonna pick it up from there. Wherever you point it, that's where the gravity goes to and that's where the water's gonna be. So it's just gonna pick it up from there. So as usual, we'll let this sit for a little while and uh, we'll take it all off and uh, show you how it looks afterwards.
So as for the results of the uh, Foam Cannon S version 3 from MJJC, well, it's uh, an improvement on what they've done with the Foam Cannon Pro. So uh, they've improved the bottle design. The foam delivery is through a 1.25 millimeter nozzle. It's actually quite good. It's, it's just, you've got to tune it up. It's actually uh, fairly easy to put on and it comes off quite thick. So I was mildly surprised with particularly how it comes off. So I use the MJJC foam and it wants to stay there pretty much the same dwell time as the uh, Foam Cannon Pro. But uh, I think the delivery of this is, is a little bit more of an improvement from the Pro. So thoughts after using the MJJC Foam Cannon S version 3. It's actually a fairly good foam cannon. When you look at how it's constructed, how it's designed, a fair bit of thought has actually gone into, especially the, the lid and the uh, and the, the opening here. It's what you call a, a compression fit. So it does away with uh, threading. It's actually rather satisfying. When you push this down, you push it down and it goes push, and then you turn the bottle and that it feels like it's really solid. As far as ease of use goes, it's uh, well, pretty much just as easy as uh, any other phone cannon. Uh, all you have to do is uh, kind of maybe fiddle with the settings a little bit. I mean, you may have to just fiddle with the pressure at the top here and turn the, the blue section here to adjust the horizontal or vertical and adjust the white section to adjust the uh, flow. Don't stick your fingers in here. It's really a bad idea. So it isn't the cheapest foam cannon on the market. It's actually around about uh, almost 90 US dollars or about just under 116 Australian dollars. So not cheap. Actually, it's up there with probably one of the starter kits that you probably get with uh, a similar type of foam cannon. Uh, they're around about $120 Australian. But for that price, you actually get a fairly good construction, good build quality and a fairly good result as far as the foam goes. So is it worth it over other foam cannons on the market? Yes, it's good value for money, especially uh, what you get and the results that come from it. As a starter product, you probably wanna go for something a bit cheaper. So you probably won't get as good a result as the foam that this stuff can deliver. If you're just going for a, a starter type of application, then you probably want something that's around about the 50, 60 dollar mark and kind of uh, work up from there. That is just the, the cannon by itself. You still need to get the snow foam and the pressure washer to go along with it and the attachment, which uh, is all important as well. Also, if you decide you do want to purchase one of these, the link for this is in the description below. So this will take you to the uh, MJJC site and that'll link you straight through to this snow foam cannon. So there you go. That pretty much wraps it up guys. Thanks for watching and good luck with your phone cannon adventures and I'll catch you around on the next one.